Hello boys and girls and welcome to Friday's Learning. Uh, today we're going to be recapping multiplying a two digit number by a one digit number, so like a review of the week, and then we'll be moving on to our normal arithmetic questions that we do. So first of all though, as a little warm up, see if you can practice your four times table. Can you work out with your parents what is under each of these different squares here? We've done lots of this in class. See if you can solve it. See if you can work out what all of those multiples of four are. So, pause the video. See if you can jot them down on a piece of paper. Brilliant stuff, guys. How did you get on? Could you remember your four times table? Let's look at the first one here. If you put four, you're absolutely right. Now, remember, and think about multiples of four. We're going to be adding on four more each time. So, four count on another four and you get eight. Again, count on another four, you get 12. Count on another four, you get 16. Count on another four, you'll get 20. Another four, 24. Another four, 28. Another four, 32. Another four, 36. Another four, 40. How about a little challenge? How far can you count in fours? Can you get all the way up to and past 100? After this session, see if you can do that. And see, see if you can let your teacher know how far you get counting in your fours. Great stuff, guys. I'm going to move on to the next slide where we'll be multiplying a two-digit number by a one-digit number, recapping this week's skill. Okay, so column multiplication. Similar to column subtraction and column addition, but we set out our question in our place value column. So first question is 34 multiplied by 2. I always start with 34 at the top and I'm just going to make a note of my 10s and my 1s so that I can place my numbers from here into the correct position on my grid here. Okay, so 34 is made up of 3 10s and 4 1s. Next I'm going to put what I'm multiplying it by below in the ones column. So it should look like this. First of all, I'm going to multiply my ones. Four times two equals eight. I take my answer and I pop it below in the equals sign. Now remember what we learnt yesterday. If when I'm multiplying my ones together, I end up with a two digit number I need to carry the spare 10 across and pop it below the tens column under the equal sign. But because 4 times 2 equals 8, I do not need to do that. Next, we multiply 3 times 2. 3 times 2 equals 6. And I put my answer below the tens column. So 3 tens times 2 equals 6 tens. And I'll put the answer here. 34 multiplied by 2 equals 68. Okay. What I'd like you to do, boys and girls, I hope you've got somebody that you can work with at home. Well, I want you to be the teacher today. Okay, I want you to label yourselves partner one and partner two. Partner one, so I want you to be the teacher. And then I want you to teach partner two how to solve these different questions here. I've left a little example for you, just so that you can go through to help you. But see if you can solve these questions with your partner. Okay, pause the video here, see if you can solve these questions. Off you go. How did you get on? Could you teach your partner how to solve these questions? Let's go through these together. 12 times 4. I'm going to make sure I set my question out in the correct columns. So I've got tens here, ones here, equal sign, times sign. First, multiply the ones. 2 times 4 equals 8. And I put that in the ones column. 2 ones times 4 equals 8 ones. Next, I multiply my tens. 1 ten times 4 equals 4 tens. And I put 4 
below in the tens column, making sure that it's all lined up nicely. 12 times 4 equals 48. Okay, next question. 73 multiplied by 2, tens and ones. 2 tens for 20, 3 ones for 3. And I'm going to be multiplying it by 2, so that goes below the 3 in the ones column. Equal sign, don't forget your time sign. 3 times 2 equals 6. Next, I multiply my tens. 2 tens times 2 equals 4 tens. And I put those 4 tens below in my answer column. Okay. 73 multiplied by 2 equals 46. Next question. 17 multiplied by 4. Tens. Ones is a little reminder. 17 at the top split into tens and ones. 4 below the 7 in the ones column. Equal sign. Multiplication sign. This one's a little different. 7 times 4. So 7 ones times 4 equals 28. 28, as we can see, is a two digit number made of two tens and eight ones. I take my eight ones here and I pop it below the ones column where my equal sign is. Next, I take my two tens and I put them below the equal sign in the tens column though, okay? And I need to draw a circle around that so that I can add them up. Next, we multiply one ten times four equals four tens. And then I add on these two tens here. Four tens add two tens equals six tens. And I'll put the answer here. 17 times four equals 68. Okay, last one. 32 multiplied by 3. Tens and ones is a little reminder. 32. Put the 3 below the 2. Make sure I use my time sign. Make sure I use my equal sign. First set, 2 times 3 equals 6. I put my answer below in the answer section in the one column. Next, three tens times three equals nine tens or ninety. And I put the nine below in the tens column. Thirty-two multiplied by three equals ninety-six. Well done, boys and girls. I hope you managed to solve that question. Next, we're going to be moving on to solving a little bit of a word problem. Okay, so let's look at this problem. Pencils come in packs of seven. Okay, Mr. Potter ordered 12 packs. How many pen pencils was that altogether? Probably quite a lot. Now then, when reading these questions, we need to pick out the main details. I can see the pencils come in packs of seven. So there's seven pencils in each pack. And I like to underline this in my question, just so that I'm really, really clear. And I ordered 12 packs. So I've got seven pencils per pack. I've got 12 packs. And then I need to work out how many was that all together. That all together means total. So my question will look like this. 12 packs of pencils seven pencils in each pack how many pencils was that so what i'd like you to do my question is 12 multiplied by seven see if you can use column multiplication to solve that question so pause the video here see if you can solve it using the skills from this week brilliant stuff guys how did you get on Let's see. Let's see if Mr. Cottle gets it right as well. Okay, tens and ones, just to remind myself to put things in the correct column. 
just like this. 12 across the top, 7 below the 2, multiplication sign equals sign. First step, 2 times 7 equals 14. I'll take the four ones of 14 and put them below into the equal sign in the ones column. I take the 10 of 14 and just pop them below and put a circle around it so it reminds me to add it up. Next, 110 times 7 equals 7 tens, making sure I add on that 110, which is 8. 12 times 7 equals 84. Mr Cottle had an awful lot of pencils. He had 84 altogether. So then, boys and girls, let's move on to the next question. See if you can solve this one on your own. Okay? See if you can solve it. See if you can use column multiplication. So pause the video here and see if you can do it. Okay, how did you get on? So the question is, there are 23 tables in the classroom. How many legs were there? So each table we can see has four legs. And there's 23 tables. So the question is 23 times four. And set it out like this. Equal sign times sign. Okay, first step, three times four equals 12. I take the 2 of the 12 and put it in the 1's column. I take the 10 of the 12 and pop it below, making sure it's lined up with the 10's column. Next, we multiply 2 10's by 4. 2 10's times 4 equals 8 10's. As on this 1 10 below, and I get 9 10's. 23 multiplied by 4 equals 90. Two. There were 92 legs in the classroom. Okie dokie guys, that's it for this week. Apart from, we always do an arithmetic test. So on the school system, or you can use this slide here, you'll be able to print yourself off an arithmetic quiz. Here we have mild. Here we have spicy. And here we have hot. Set yourself a challenge, give yourself 10 minutes, and see how quickly you can answer your set of questions. Good luck. I know that you guys have been working really hard in this in class at the moment, so keep up the great work. Excellent stuff. Thank you.